Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back my fellow Swagithians. How are you all doing? I hope you're all doing very well. Uh, welcome back to Power Revolution 2022. Uh, you might notice a little something is that we are back down to level one. And the reason for that is uh, I decided to upgrade my computer Windows 11. And I don't know why everybody's hating on it. I actually like it pretty nice. It's actually making my system run faster for some things, believe it or not. But at any rate, uh, dum dum me forgot to back up my profile. <laughs> I mean, not that it matters. So, uh, you know, we're going to go into it. So again, I'm just going to go do world without COVID because, you know, the coof is a pain in the ass. Although it's our country we're going to play, I could theoretically, you know, <laughs> uh, do something about something in a very drastic measure, but we're not going to do that. So yeah, although we could. So in this playthrough, everybody, uh, a lot of things learned from Venezuela playthrough, which I think once we're done with all the main ones, I'm, well, not 90, I'm 100% going to redo it. So we're going to revisit that, I'll call it like a Venezuela redo or something, uh, just based on what we've learned. So it's actually kind of like my first time really dealing as a socialist nation. So, but now next one down that you all voted for North Korea that's right everybody's gonna get the country that they picked or that they voted for it just depends on the uh, way that we did it so we're a people's republic we're authoritarian which means I have complete power right off the start for a totalitarian damn right <laughs> we have complete control extreme left yeah our GDP is 16.3 billion our share of the world is 0.02%, so that's what's going to make it hard. Um, it's the fact that we're pretty much kind of banned from the world. In essence, they, they are pretty much in real life. So our closest trading partners are going to be you know, the Ruskies and the Chinese, uh, maybe Middle East in some areas, probably some areas in Africa, but as far as maybe some places in South America, but as far as the actual main developed Western countries, forget it. Like, just, like, no. But, um, our stats here are actually pretty good for being what it is. I mean, look, we have a 0.5% growth. Not too bad. Unemployment's it's only at 3.3%. I imagine that's because most of our population is in the military. So, that would explain the uh, very, very low unemployment. Inflation's only at 2%, which is extremely good. Uh, we can probably raise that and raise our growth a little bit. Uh, let's see, where else we have GDP per capita, $629. Army, yeah, see, 1.2 million soldiers. So that's generally half of what we should have. Usually you want to have at least 1% of your population in the armed service. So we're at 26 million, so that should actually be about 2.6 million troops. We sell 1.7, is so good. We have 16 nuclear warheads ready to go. Election is in 1,618 days. I don't think we're gonna have to really worry about that. So we're gonna go ahead and Kim, Kim, Kim Jong. Oh, look at the little chubby face. He's so adorable. We're just gonna rename him. Uh, and no, no relation to the actual person. Lil Kim. <laughs> Lil Kim, not little, just Lil Kim. <laughs> All right, I can put my name in here, but man, <laughs> comedy. Gotta have comedy. Oh yeah, we're just gonna leave everything at normal, dollar amount, normal expert. Maybe one of these days I'll play on expert difficulty. Uh, beginner experience and expert. Beginning level, you would just advice from your professor. Political, you would like to focus a higher level, harder popular, popularity rating, and the stronger the AI military enemies are. Terrorism, max. Warmongering, max. Disaster, max. Every, everything maxed out. <laughs> we'll, we'll do a series on that just for the shenanigans of the deal. Plato is a foremost game first, yada, yada, yada. We've seen that a bajillion times. Alrighty.
After the eradication of the pandemic at the end of last year, which fortunately did not see any more of the dreadful Greek letter variants, citizens are now hoping to move past it and turn resolutely toward the future. In any case, we can take note of the billions of messages and videos sent by the inhabitants of this planet on this January 1st, which set a new connection record. An optimism among the people that promises a year of resilience and progress, especially in the fight against global warming, and so alluring that world leaders are drawing inspiration from it. We're going to warm up the gold, all right. If I'm not mistaken, in real life, um, one of North Korea's primary exports is gold. So we are going to probably export the crap out of that. Okay, yeah, so see, I was right. Western nations, um, oh, yeah, we're friendly with some Southeast, but yeah, mostly, yeah, see some in Africa, but yeah, everybody, everybody over here done hates us, except for Cuba. Boys of Cuba, they're our friends. And who is, is what is that, Nicaragua? Put oh, that on pause. Is that Nicaragua? Yes, it is. Nicaragua. But Cuba and Nicaragua, they're our only friendly places over here in the Western Hemisphere. Uh, of course, you know, you got Syria, Iran. What the heck? Oh, that's just the main city. Uh, Pakistan, India hates us, Myanmar is neutral, China, Thailand, Laos, Vietnam are pretty friendly. Or is that Laos or is that? Yeah, that's Laos. That's Cambodia right there. Okay. Alrighty, let's get right into it. Um, a couple things uh, some friendly people uh, told me in Discord is, and I'll ask them if I could put the uh, Discord link in the description, so that way those of you that want to go into it, if um, you're not in there already, uh, can check it out. It's a really nice, active community. Um, Politics Gaming is in there, you know, so shout out to him and a couple other uh, in our players as well. I'm in there as well, so, you know, but I'll ask first. I'll say, hey, is it cool if I, you know, put the Discord link? So, alrighty. First and foremost, um, well, we already know on the status of our inflation there. But let's check our debt. Let's see here. Okay, we do have rather very close deficit already. Oh, so that's pretty good. So let's see here. I guess we'll start by renegotiating some of these rates. Go ahead and start setting up. God, I hate it when it does this. All right, we'll start by setting up some meetings with these guys first. Also, for the music in this one, everybody, it's just going to be a mix. Um, the royalty-free I got off the YouTubes is probably going to be, I figure, okay, Korea. So, hey, okay, let's go kind of like a K-pop kind of vibe, you know? But it's mostly going to be pop with maybe techno and electric dance. But it's not just going to be the same song looping over and over and over again. It'll, oh, well, we're in debt to ourselves. 56 million current loan, okay. I gotta check our interest rate too. We owe a billion to the UK, how we even managed to get that, I don't know, considering they hate us. All right, so we'll go like that, we'll go there, we'll go there. If you guys were watching my Final Fantasy playthrough, you know I had some issues with the uh, microphone. Uh, and if anybody else has a blue Yeti, uh, hit me up in the comments and I will provide a link to a really good fix and it's what actually fixed it for me if your computer is just recognizing your yeti as a you know usb advanced something like usb advanced audio or something like that and that that really fixed it up you can tell like the audio is coming through clear uh, my voice is crystal so it really really fixed it so let me know if y'all need that i'll i'll probably just go ahead and provide the link into the description as well or i'll just make a little separate video on that on how to put the link to the guy who shows how to fix it so all right enough talk of that i know we're gonna be enough talking but we gotta do enough talk of that all right finances uh let's see wow tourism really 90 percent of our production is from tourism Okay, 
secondary. Wow. I would have never thought. Like, I think North Korea would be a tourist attraction. All right, but again, here we go. We have secondary coal, um, hydraulic electricity, chemical industry, rice. So yeah, coal, and I guess it's mainly going to be coal. That is our main production. Tourism and mostly tourism. How do we sell tourism? I don't know. I don't know how we sell that. Now the stock stuck in the time right now. The hell? Is that a bug or something? What the hell's up with those damn numbers? It, it must be a bug. Because that is... Yeah, so see? <laughs> already broken. Going into the game, already broken. That's great. That is nothing great. But right, here's what we're gonna do. Oh, wealthy people. Yes. Yeah, see, everybody loves it. And I am supreme dictator, so none of this matters. <laughs> like, honestly, like, none of that's gonna fucking matter at all. Uh... Wow, our our state revenue just went. Uh, it's okay. Now we're at an excess. Yay, but we'll have to wait for that to take the best effect. Okay, uh, Secret Service. Oh, we actually have terrorists this time. Yay, fun. Alright, let's place them under surveillance. Uh, let's infiltrate. And we will... Let's see. We have 250 international agents. I don't think we need that many. No. But we'll leave it alone right now. Cancel your exterior managed networks. Where are we at? Let's see. Where do we have our agents? Alright. We have 20 in Canada. Nope. Don't really need you in the Canadian. Uh, 18 in Egypt. Nope. You there. I don't think we're gonna really need agents anywhere yet until um probably if anything I'm gonna just dump a shit ton into South Korea. <laughs> Cause I mean they're our biggest priority threat right now. And we will be reunifying the, the Korean Peninsula, one way or another. So I'm gonna dump about maybe 200 Asians in South Korea. All right, we're gonna go South Korea, all of them, for the most part, 200, firm. Uh, Network South Korea. Priority goals. We're gonna go on industrial spying. See if we can. Yeah, that work implementation. Okay, and then maybe we'll put. Hmm. I don't know how. Let's see. Uh, Austria. Who would be good to steal tech from? No, let's go ahead and put 50 agents in, in Canada. Why not? And we'll do, we'll also do industrial spying. See if we can steal some secrets and whatnot. All right, so that takes care of that. Um, oh, what I was saying about the, uh, the advice I got is that it's a good idea to not do any trading what, until about roughly the third quarter. So that way you can kind of see how your economy stands. And we, uh, heck is, are we getting like doorbell things every time we hit play? Uh, security services operation of competent. Uh, they managed to evade the setup. I had a, a device to test them any rate you can sound like. Okay, that's good to know. My informants report that the temperature in the streets regarding opinion of you is neither hot nor cold. Well, yeah, because we started. 
nuclear power, carbon-free energy. Speaking of which, let's check out our techs. Um, okay, we have nuclear fission, we have advanced nuclear fission. Uh, well, well, we should, I mean, we're making nuclear weapons after all, so... Okay. So we're pretty good at matter sciences, so maybe we can... Energy and environment. I would say we should pump more points into industry. But we'll do that once we get our budget set up. So definitely want to get more into industry, uh, military. How many research centers do we have? So 732 times 3. That would be 6, 9, 21. Drop down to zero. So we got about 20. Well, it tells me right here. Yeah, 20, 25,000 researchers. Okay, so we'll probably build a couple more of these when we get the money and up it by about 3,000. I don't know why it's making. Yeah, like you hear, hear that? It's making like a bloop and then a doorbell ring. Like, what the hell? I don't. I don't remember it ever doing that. All right. Um. Okay, that is gonna be very annoying. I don't know if you guys can hear, but yeah, I, I, I might have to go into the sound effects and try and see if I can turn that off because that is very annoying. But then it's gonna turn everything else off too. Um. Just making sure I went over all the integral parts. Let's check out our energy. Uh, oh, we actually are at a negative. Okay, so we need power. Um, can I import some power maybe from China? Let's see if we can make them. Maybe with China. Or are they going to tell me they're too fucking busy? Malnutrition. Uh, country is currently facing big food issues and we are on the brink of malnutrition. Something must be done. We don't want it, the people to die of hunger. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess I'm eating all the food. No. Yeah, I knew it. The pretext. He's too busy. Our team is in place. The information gathered on this suspect terrorist will be archived directly into his dossier. Okay. Recipe for success. Your popularity leads to speeches. If I only knew. Um, about taxing the rich and being a Robin Hood and giving back to the poor. No, not really. It's called taxing the rich and taking all the money for ourselves. <laughs> uh, damn, I, I don't even think I can meet with Russia, can I? Maybe. Yeah, meeting canceled. The pre. I don't like. I can never seem seem to ever get a meeting with these guys. How about? How about Vietnam? Oh wait, I don't border Vietnam. Shit. No, I can't import electricity from anybody. Oh, there goes that. Um, Alright, I guess I'm just gonna have to build. And when is that law supposed to take in? Okay, here's our no first thanks. meeting. I'd be happy. You're not bad. Very Alright, let's Very well. negotiate. What kind of offer do you wish to make us? You drop me down a whole percent, buddy. I don't mean to offend you, but no. your offer is very feeble. Okay, so maybe how about eight point four seven? Very well. Okay. We accept your offer. So point ten percent. All right. Cool. 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 Dear God, that is going to fucking yeah. That that is annoying. No thanks. I'd be happy. You're not bad. Very kind. Very well. What kind of offer do you wish to make us? Uh, we give me a percent off. Very well. Oh we shit! Accept your offer. Okay. Okay. Thank you, India. That knocked off a whole percent. Oh my god. I got. You. I'm sorry, everybody. I'll I'll fix that for the next episode. Sure. Dark and strong, please. I'd be happy. You're not. Try that. All right. Very good. well. What kind of offer do you wish to make us? Interesting. We're nearly there. 
Go on. I'll make another proposal. Shake on it. All right. How about? Well, how can you make a proposal when you don't? Very well. Okay. We accept your offer. Eleven percent. Really could have gotten away with like maybe ten point six. But still, you know, better than nothing. Alright, what do we got here? Housing renovations, pile of three I suspects. I must inform you that you can at your... Yes, I know. I can do this. Go here. Go here. See? Oh, wait, hold on. Let me not here. But, um... Okay, go here. The file. Yeah, I get it. Thank you. It's not my first rodeo, man. I get it. Um... Let me check out Parliament real quick. When is that law? Laws of progress vote on the 10th. Okay, so we got three more days. That'll take effect and then we'll raise it up again. State revenue is actually going down. No thing. I'd be happy. You're not very kind. Very well. What kind of offer do you wish to make us? I don't mean to offend you, but your offer is very feeble. Okay, how about just a flat out 9%? Very well. Okay, cool. Tourism professionals complain with tourism professionals complain about the few efforts implemented by the government to facilitate the access to foreign visitors to different tourist sites in the country. I don't think they're wrong personally. I always spend my holidays for it. Yeah, so we just basically got to build more infrastructure, is what I'm saying, more roads. And I see this province right here has no roads connecting anything, like at all. It, actually, we only have what? One? Looks like one main road. That's it. I think Pyongyang to here, here, here. So, infrastructure is going to be a big one for this. Uh, let's just get to the 10. What have you got to say? Housing renovations? Yes, I know. Alright, last one for the meeting. Sure. Huh. You're very kind. Very well. What kind of offer do you wish to make us? A uh, damn 16%. Good. Very well. Alright, 15. Good. Encouraging the development of battle robots. With the current advances made in AI and robotics, more and more manufacturers in the military are planning to develop robot soldiers, which would replace foot soldiers in the combat zones, thus we will greatly reduce captures and losses. Yes, yeah, send the robots in first and then follow up by the troops. I agree. Let's Skynet that shit. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Um, that bill should be... Or my decree should be coming along pretty soon. Public finances, big hit, very good. And this time, not in a bad way. I have to tell you that I am filled with pride to be the mother of a leader who is so loved by the people. Aww. Thank you, Ma. Oh, yeah, that's right. We gotta check. Oh, okay, yeah, everything's nationalized. So I guess if I ever want to work on the unemployment, okay, so production and consumption, so we should definitely, okay, now we're at a pretty good excess, although I don't know why that reimbursement going down, okay, so clearly we can't make bananas for any of those, yeah, see, everything is, everything in its mother is nationalized, and we're going to keep it that way. <laughs> I mean, yeah, look, I could go adjust the degree I could put here and, oh, look, 300 million. But, no. Because then that's still... It'll, it'll give us a small percent. It'll, it'll still give us money, but it won't give us... In my viewpoint, maybe I'm wrong on this. Y'all can let me know in the comments if I'm wrong, but... Um, that's basically privatizing it, but still kind of having a stake. But I think we'll just go ahead and 
I'll probably have to go do this off camera because it would take me literally all day to go through all this and adjust the workforces as needed to kind of like increase production. So more than likely I'll probably yeah, be doing that off camera. Or I can just do it on camera and then just like fast forward it times 10 speed. All right, here we go. Law has been passed. Congratulate you in person for your popularity. The way the country trusts you moves me. And I'm happy to work with you now and undoubtedly for many years to come. Yes. Or until I die from a heart attack. Uh, there are rumors of disapproving among wealthy people. Mr. According to my source, they are criticizing the increase in wealth. We must follow up on this issue. Ah, right, well, I'm going to do it again. I just intercepted a report from the National Institute of Food Statistics. According to the exports, the situation is alarming in North Korea. Thanks to a 4H2 mission, the information will not spread. The decree takes it. Yeah, damn right, decree. And guess what? We're gonna do it again. Can't get that much more money out of it, but hey, it's something. 2.8. Okay, now we're not gonna go and spend all of it. But we do have a little bit of money to play with as soon as that one takes effect, which will be in, on the 22nd, so in 11 days. So in 11 days, we can actually start doing some stuff. I guess we can do a little couple small things here. So let's go into the farming and we'll go, because this is cheap, so. Yeah, see, look at this. We can just go ahead and max that shit out right now. Or we'll do monitoring food safety. We'll leave organic farming. Yeah. Hell of organic. We'll definitely up the monitoring the food safety. There. That's only 15,000 dollars. We can't afford that at this point. Our trade balance is at a negative three billion dollars. Ooh. Yeah, change that. But that's in the uh, yeah, because we're not ag we're not really exporting agriculture. In fact, we're importing most of it. All right. So now that we got that pretty much good and taken care of, let's check out how we're doing everywhere else. Aeronautical construction. Biotech, bottled water. Okay, so we're, for, we're one for one on that. Building, housing, and railway construction. Okay. Uh, cement. Okay, overall we're pretty good. Production consumption. Okay, so we have mostly positives on everything. Construction, we can get some of these sections up and running some of them like start building our own fucking fighter planes how's our water supply network oh okay that we need to how much would it cost if we added like 100 28 million no. how about we Uh, what if we went 76? What if we just double it? 10 million? Okay, we can do that. Water supply is very important. And, oh yeah, power, 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 power. Energy, construction. Uh, we do have nuclear. $3 billion. No. <laughs> Over five years, God, that would. Cost a little bit. Onshore wind? Jeez. 246 million dollars, 1.23, it would give us two terawatts. I mean, theoretically, I could afford it. Theoretically. Uh, 
I only need one terawatt, so house over five years, annual reimbursement forty-four million. We'll wait until the third quarter before I really start doing anything drastic like that. So for right now, we'll just go ahead and, well, look, 100%. That was easy. For right now, we'll just focus more on internal um, employment things, getting productions up and going. But even that, I feel, might increase the electricity demand, maybe. But we'll see. We will see. We will definitely see about that. So, in the meantime, everybody, um, yeah, that's going to be it already for the first episode. Wow. Let's check out our newspaper real quick. Australia. Oh. They had elections. People's Collective Party Political Bureau voted unanimously to trust Kim's government. Damn right. Oh. The ruling country can also be in art. Whenever the soul style needed his case for Lil Kim, stated in the famous modern artist Hu Chui Moon. Our nation is on the way to becoming the land of the arts thanks to Lil Kim's <laughs> famous prima donna, Lee Rat Lee. Aw, they have such nice things to say about me. The inspired government will put political action ahead of futile arguments. Off yesterday, the famous football officer Du Ryong Ha. Uh, elections for the head of the communist of Latin America and Caribbean states, Costa Rica, Rican former diplomat, was elected to succeed Pablo Casines. No scoop. The government is freewheeling with the concern the famous common. Okay, well, whatever. Oh, oops. Right, keep down there. Let's see, anything else? International pages? Depending what's going on in the world, if we don't have World War III by the time Russians invade, again, it gets to that point. I I kept going a little bit into the Venezuela just to see what would happen, and I'm not sure if it's going to happen here, but yeah, NATO and the EU pretty much declared war on Russia, and uh, as well as the US, and shortly after that, there was actually nuclear war. <laughs> That was done completely by the AI. Don't, don't ask me how, but yeah. <laughs> so, bye-bye world. Thankfully, that I pray that doesn't happen in real life, but eh, I don't know. We'll see. China, why won't you meet with me? What if I set up a meeting with you like... Like, fucking... About it, like at the end of May. Will you do a meeting with me at the end of May? In Russia, will you? Nope. Bastard. The pre tick. All right, everybody. Thank you all so much for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, be sure to follow me on Twitter at Should Be Wilds Gaming. I follow all followers back. Please be sure to check out the updated link for our Facebook group in the description below. And y'all have a good one. I will see you all in the next one.